morning, WC. It's Wild Animal Wednesday, and today we have a special guest with Peter and Jessica. What do we have here? Uh, yellow belly slider turtles. How we've got two of them here? Yeah. And where did you get these? Uh, that one is from South Carolina, and then that one's from Florida. Wow. And how do you how do you know which one you got where? Who you want to? Um, this one is a little bit bigger than that one, and you uh. can tell by the shell because this one has stripes on its shell, and then... You want to show the camera better. the stripes? This one has stripes right here, that one doesn't. And then underneath, so like here, the dots underneath are a bit different, so... Wow, that is incredibly unique. And you said you got this one in North Carolina? Uh, South Carolina. South Carolina, and what were you doing in South Carolina buying a turtle? Um, I got that one for free. That one was in a <laughs> baseball dugout at one of my brother's games and it was about to get stuffed on <laughs> from the baseball players, so we kind of rescued that one. Wow, that's amazing. And how long have you had both of these? A little over a year. I so just a year, so do you yeah. know a whole lot about them? Or Mrs. McHale, you wanna give us some information? Well, uh, like any other species, these guys are um, used to a much warmer climate than Ohio, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And so um, these species are indigenous to, like, like she said, Florida, South Carolina, and they're a very common turtle. There's, really? Yeah, super common. Yeah. It's kind of like our um, red-eared sliders here in Ohio, and just like our red-eared sliders, which are not an indigenous species, that means they didn't start off here, somebody released them, you would never release these turtles into the wild. Mm -hmm. They'd have to be like re returned or yeah. just kept as a pet from now on. Yeah. Yeah. And what do you feed them? Um, so we feed them like sometimes shrimp mm -hmm. and um, we have these little pellets that we give them that help them. So How often do you have to feed them? Um, uh, like twice a day maybe. Oh wow. That's a decent bit for such a small animal. <laughs> I'm so bummed. We had them out and then we kind of scared them and they have like, sh they have gone into that shell and yeah. they are not coming out. Yeah. So that's a bummer. They were all out and happy a just a wee bit ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and are these tortoises or turtles? Turtles, because they're water turtles. So they are like in the water more than on land. Oh, so because they're in the water, that yeah. makes them a turtle? Yeah. Well, yeah, some part of their life cycle is, is um, dependent upon water. If they didn't have water, they could not reproduce. Yeah. So it's, it, that's what distinguishes our tortoises which are land animals, are the big Walter <laughs> who comes in to visit, um, as opposed to these guys. Now, I, I have a little story. Um, do you change their water quite often? Uh, not often, often, because they have a lot of water, so it's really hard to change. Oh, okay. So it's heavy, and so like once, like I think every month maybe. Uh huh. So, yeah. Do you have a filter in there? Um, no. Oh so wow! My dad has to do that. Oh, that's bold. This is a whole family outfit. Well, we had a um, an aquatic turtle that we kept at school here for about two years, and he was male I because he that. had those the long, nails. those long nails, and um, the the filter setup that I had for him just could not keep up with this poor turtle waist. And um, one summer I decided, oh, they'll be fine. And I came in the, uh, to change the turtle tanks the day that the teachers were all, we were ha having those teacher meetings. Yeah. And you would have thought a stink bomb had gone off yeah. in the school. It smelled so bad. How oh, long was, ago was this? That was like two, that was two years ago, and and uh, since the turtle had come from my pond, it went back to my pond. It was, <laughs> I was done. We were done. <laughs> <laughs> These are amazing turtles. Thanks so much for bringing them on, Jessica, and teaching us some stuff about them. Uh, back to you in the studio.